Hello everyone. Welcome back to Maximum Automation. Today in this video, I'm going to discuss about a very recent problem that I believe most of us are facing after Chrome browser version update. The problem is related to file download. After Chrome version 1.2, when we are trying to download a file from a web page which is not secure or which is hosted using HTTP protocol, then Chrome browser does not allow to directly download the file. We used to get a notification from Chrome that we are trying to download an insecure file. And then we have to provide our input. Either we want to keep that file or we want to cancel that file download operation. Now let's see one example. Here you can see this is one of the web page which is available on HTTP protocol. So you can see that it is not secure because this web page is hosted using HTTP, not using HTTPS. And now if I click on this file icon, then it will start downloading a file. So let me click on this. Here you can see that the moment I clicked on this file icon, a notification pop-up received which says insecure download block and it asks the further operations we want to perform whether we want to keep it or we want to cancel the operation this decision making to choose the operation type cannot be handled by selenium automation script and because of this warning our file download scenario will fail if the web page is not hosted using https protocol so this problem will occur if you're going to run your script on a web page hosted using HTTP protocol. Then in that case, let's see that how you can really download your files through automation scripts. To allow insecure download, we need to pass one capability in Chrome options at the time of initializing the web driver object. Now let's move back to the code where I'll show you how to pass that capability. Here you can see that I have one file download test available where I'm downloading the Chrome driver binary using web driver manager and then using Chrome options, I'm initiating a Chrome web driver object. And then using that web driver object, I'm moving to this file download demo website. And then clicking on the image element to start file downloading. Now, first we'll see if I'm going to click on this element using the Selenium script, then how does it behave? So let me run the test. This time, browser will ask that whether file needs to be downloaded or not. You can see that the test is running and now a browser is invoked. Then it will move to the file download web page, which we have provided. You can see that it opens the website and now this is going to click on the document icon. And here now we can see that we received a warning pop up from Chrome, which says that insecure download blocked. Now at this stage, if I'll be having further steps in my test script to validate the file content or file itself, then those steps will fail because my file is still not downloaded. To avoid that situation or to allow the insecure file download, let's move to the code to add the capability on Chrome Options. Here, by using Chrome Options object, I'm going to add one argument as disable features insecure download warning. So this is the only capability which we have to pass in our Chrome options. Then this will disable the warning which is coming in Chrome browser. And the file download process won't be interrupted. Now let me run the test again. You can see the test started again. This time when it is going to click on the image to download the file, then we won't be getting any insecure download block warning. Here it clicked on the file icon 
and you can see that the file has been successfully downloaded. We did not receive any warning pop-up related to insecure download. So by using that capability in your Chrome options, you can run your file download scenarios for the web pages which are hosted using HTTP protocol. Other than this, there is one more capability available which you can provide. Let's say if you want to disable the insecure file download feature for a specific web page or website because of security reasons, then the current capability won't work for you because this will disable the feature for all the websites which you're gonna run using your script. To disable the feature for any specific website, you can provide another capability that is unsafely trade insecure origin as secure. And after that, you have to provide your domain for which you want to disable the warning feature or you want to allow the insecure file download. So I'm going to copy this domain from here and then I'll provide it in my capability because I'm going to allow this insecure file download for this domain. For rest of the website, it will again show the warning pop-up if I'm going to run my script and it won't allow the insecure file download because the capability which I have provided is specific to this domain. So if you're running your test on this domain, then it will allow the file download. Now, let me run the test again. And you'll see that this time also, it won't block our file download because we have disabled that feature for the current domain. And this domain is getting treated as a secure website for us. And it's gonna allow the file download. Here you can see that when it clicked on the file download icon, then it successfully downloaded the file. So this is how you can perform your file download scenarios for the websites which is not secure. I hope you like this video. Please put your comments on the comment box. Also, please do not forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.